kids, fancy some milk and cookies? Oh, I do love it at bedtime. Start with a circle for the cookie. And a smiley face. Rosy cheeks. And of course, don't forget the chocolate chips. Or are they raisins or Smarties? What do you want on your cookie? It's all up to you. Little arms and legs. And next to it, a glass of milk. Yummy milk, good for the bones, you know. Smiley face there too. And some hands and legs. And did you know that cookies and milk are best friends? So they're holding hands. Ah, darkening up the border to make our colours stand out. Ready to paint. OK, let's go for brown for our cookie, because our cookie is a chocolate cookie. Yummy, yummy. What's your favourite cookie? Do you like chocolate chip? Do you like Nutella cookies? How about vanilla cookies? Have you even tried fudge caramel cookies? Or mint choc chip? Even better. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Right, darker brown for our chips and the hands and feet. Lovely. Bit of dark chocolate never did anyone any harm. Same for the glass of milk, hand and feet. Now we're going for peachy cheeks. On to blue to represent our glass. So the outer part is all going to be blue. Carefully going down the sides of our milk. And then we're going for a very pale silver colour, which is almost white to represent our milk. Carefully going around the facial features, eyes and cheeks. With a small paintbrush, that will do the job. And we're done. Some peachy cheeks there too. And there you have it. Cookies and milk. Oh, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Hey kids, do you like unicorns? Do you love cake? Well, we're going to show you how to draw and paint a unicorn cake. Yay, we start with the horns on top. Little ones, three of them. And then a big one. Excellent. Now some stars. And then we do the outline of the cake. It's going to be a slice of cake with some icing dripping down the side. And layers. This way we can do lots of different colours. Yay! How about a rainbow unicorn cake? Now we're going to darken up the border because that will make the colours really stand out. Perfect! That is a big slice of cake. Now, let's start with purple. Purple for the top of the big horn. Then yellow. And green. Ooh, I do love this colour combination. Some pink. And blue. Excellent. Now some green for the baby horns. And yellow. Lovely. Yellow stars too. Right, what colour shall we do the icing? Purple! Ooh, I love it! The depth of the colour of purple really makes the bright yellow stars and horns stand out. Fantastic! Paint really carefully within the black lines. And we're done! Let's go for our slices now. First we're going for pink. Pink and purple are like brother and sister. Gold! Round, the dripping icing and yellow I like these similar shades of colours next to each other let's go for green next break it up a little bit it's nice to have diversity don't you think hmm how about some blue next I would not mind a slice of this cake would you it looks delicious Let's go for purple at the bottom to match the top. Oh, I love it. It's so sparkly. And we're done. Fantastic job. Well done, kids. You did it. Now, let's have a bite. Hey kids, fancy an ice cream? Ooh, the weather is hot out there. Let's try and draw and paint a unicorn ice cream. Start with the horn and the stripes. Next we do the ice cream on top. A 
a smiley face with rosy cheeks, and the cone, a stripy cone. Ooh, crisscross, lovely. Time to paint, starting with purple on the top of our horn, then green. And then let's go for blue. What do you think should go next? Yellow, what a great idea. Hmm, what flavour ice cream shall we have? Ooh, I think it's going to be raspberry flavour. Ooh, or it could be strawberry flavour. What do you think? Hmm, I think I like summer fruit flavour. That way I can have raspberry and strawberry together in one. There, time to do the rosy cheeks. And the cone. We're going for a lovely light golden colour. Mmm, I love these cones. It looks like a waffle cone. What's your favourite type? Or do you prefer the ice cream in a bowl? How about some hundreds and thousands on top and chocolate sauce? Oh, delicious. There, perfect. You can even put it on a background if you want to be even more exciting. Well done, kids. You've done a great job. Bye-bye. Kids, let's draw and paint a unicorn cupcake today, starting with the unicorn horn, some stripes. Now we're going to do a cherry on top and the icing. I think we'll do three layers of icing and then our cake underneath. Brilliant. A smiley face, of course. Segmenting our cupcake with rosy cheeks. And let's not forget our tail and some ears. Brilliant! Time to paint. What colour shall we do first? Ooh, blue, my favourite. Top part of the horn, then yellow. Alternating colours is a fantastic technique. Green for the leaf of our cherry and now red for the cherry, of course. Do you like cherries? Oh, I love them, especially those nice, sweet, sticky, glazed ones. Gold colour for the ears. Lovely. I like pink, pink icing. It could be strawberry flavoured. What do you think? And how about this one could be... What are your favourite cupcake flavours? <laughs> Me too. There we are alternating again, because we just love it! Ooh, and done! Time to do the cake! Silver next, going to do our first segment, carefully painted in between the lines and around the rosy cheek, and next blue, going around the eyes. Ooh, that really brings out the blue of her eyes, don't you think? And done! Next segment can be silver again. We are continuing with the theme of alternating colours. Careful to go around the mouth and the cheek, staying in between the black lines. And finally, blue for the last cake segment. And there! Rosy cheeks are going to be rosy, of course. That lovely pink colour will match the icing. Yeah! Oh, red lips, of course, to bring out the red of the cherry. And for the tail, we're going for green. What should we do next? Brilliant idea. Yellow would look great next to green. That's one happy, bright, colourful cupcake. Alternating. Of course we are. Done. There you go. You did it. Well done. A gorgeous, colourful unicorn cupcake. Yay. Hey, today we're going to learn how to draw and colour a nice big hunk of cheese. Starting by drawing a parallelogram and then triangle at the top, a few chunks out the side and some holes in it, of course. We like a bit of holy cheese. So tell me, what's your favourite type? How about Gouda, Mozzarella, Feta, Edam, Gorgonzola? We're just going to darken up the border there to make it bold. Using yellow paint and a small paintbrush, we're painting in between the thick black outer border. 
No need to go around your circles where you've marked out your holes because those are going to be indents in the cheese. They're not hollow, so that's fine. We can just paint over those too. So it's nice and easy. You can use a big paintbrush if you wish. Whatever you find easier. This watercolour style painting is a really nice way to make realistic pictures. Not too difficult, quite easy to do, a little attention to detail. Did you know that over 1,000 types of cheese exist in the world today? Currently produced in various countries, their styles, textures, flavours depend on the origin of the milk, including the animal's diet, whether they've been pasteurised, the butterfat content, the bacteria, mould, you know, have you ever had blue cheese? How long they've been aged for, maybe they have herbs or spices, or they're wood smoked. From yellow to red, you can have all different colours too. So we're doing a darker yellow for the side piece to create a bit of dimension there in our picture. It's a nice little trick you can do for shadows and stuff like that as well. So you get the same colour, we're using yellow of course, but you do different shades of the same colour. Now if you don't have loads of different shades of paint to play with, you can just take one colour and use white if you want to make it paler, mix a bit of that colour with white in a separate pot, or use a little bit of orange, we've got orange here, we can mix a little bit of orange in with our yellow in a separate pot to make the darker colour, so it's very easy to do. And if you want to go away from that traditional picture, you can do a multicoloured cheese. How about blue cheese? What's your favourite colour? Maybe a sparkly cheese? That would be cool. I'm not sure I'd want to eat it though. Cheese is valued for portability, long life and high content of fat, protein, calcium and phosphorus. They can be made from cow or goat's milk, sheep's milk. You can even get non-dairy varieties these days for those of you with intolerances and allergies. So by using this lighter and darker shading and drawing the top triangle shape with the bottom rectangle shape, you create a kind of 3D effect. It's a very clever way of drawing. Otherwise, you'd only be showing the cheese from the top. So we're just using the darker yellow colour to paint in our holes on the top to give, again, a bit of dimension so you can see it's a bit of a dip. A few bits here and there. Finishing touches. So one colour and several different shades. There's a little bit of orangey yellow going on there, just around the inside of our holes along the edge. Very, very small attention to detail. It does make such a difference when you don't want to do anything that's a bit wham bam in your face, but you want it to look kind of realistic. Well done, you have done a fantastic job. Let's take a picture. Say cheese. Hi friends, today we're going to learn how to draw a cute cupcake starting with a cherry on top. A top layer of icing and then layer some more icing underneath that. A few wavy lines. Every layer slightly different and then we do the cake underneath it. Brilliant! Hey, let's do a face! Two shiny eyes. Couple of little eyebrows and a smile. Ah. Right, now we're going to thicken up the border to make a nice thick black outline. And time to paint. Ooh, which colour shall we do first? Let's do the cherry first. A nice spot of red. I love cherries, they're my favourite. Do you like the fresh ones or do you like those sweet ones? I like fresh cherries. Perfect, now let's do yellow for our top layer of buttercream icing. I think we'll make this a nice rainbow covered cupcake. Let's do blue. 
This could be blueberry flavoured. Imagine if your buttercream icing was all different flavours. Wouldn't that be tantalising on your taste buds? Now let's go for green. This could be minty flavoured. So you can use a separate paintbrush for each of these colours or simply dip the same paintbrush in clean water each time to wash off the previous colour. And purple, my favourite! Hey, this could be plum flavour or maybe even blackberry. What do you think? Now our last layer of buttercream icing could be yellow again. Yeah, yellow at the bottom and yellow at the top. Wow, it's like a rainbow buttercream icing sandwich. Vanilla, I think, or maybe lemon. Time to color in the cake, orange. Painting around those eyes, those big cute eyes. We can even mix a bit of yellow in with the orange to make it slightly more peachy. Keep going, you're doing great! Almost there! the last bit. Done! And there you have it, a gorgeous rainbow cupcake. Good job. Hey kids, do you have a backpack like this one to take to school with you? Isn't it brilliant? Let's draw it. We start by drawing the outline with a black pen. Then we do the top part and we're going to do a buckle. Then we're going to do detail on the bottom half. A pocket with a zip and a love heart. Then we're going to do the back side of the bag. And then the straps. Carry handle two. And then we're going to draw a lovely decoration. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a panda! Brilliant! Right, ready to paint, starting with yellow. Bottom half of the backpack's going to be this gorgeous, bright, sparkly yellow. Staying in between the lines and going around the other sections. There we go, almost there! Right, time for red. We're going to paint the top half of our backpack. Going around the panda and the buckle. Nice curvy lines. Filling it in. On the other side. Brilliant. Yes, you've done it. Well done. Pink next. Let's do a pink mouth for Mr Panda and a pink pocket. Going around the love heart and the zip. Brilliant! And green! We'll do the inner ears of the panda and the handle green. And why not have a green love heart? Who says it has to be red, hey? Back to yellow for the outer ears of Mr Panda Bear. And brown for his nose. Now it's time for purple for the bottom back part of our backpack. Both sides. For the buckle too. And finally blue for the straps. Wow, doesn't this look super colourful and sparkly? Would you like a backpack like this? I bet all your school friends would just love it. Amazing! 
Now think what you're going to put in it. Hey kids, how are you today? Would you like to draw a caterpillar? Brilliant! Starting with a nice squiggly line. And then all you need to do is draw loads of circles. A big one for the head first of all. Some smaller oval shapes for the eyes, eyebrows, antennae of course. Little baby circles there, a smiley face. And now the body. Some legs. And some small circles inside each of the bigger circles for the body. And we're done, ready to paint. Ooh, what colour shall we do first? Yellow, what a great idea. Yellow spots in a yellow bottom. Let's do the face yellow too. Using a small tip paintbrush, carefully painting around the features. Staying in between the black lines. Have you ever seen a real caterpillar in your garden? I love them, don't you? Fantastic, nearly there. Just around the mouth, side to side, small strokes. Up and down, and we're done. Well done, time for some pink for our mouth. And a red tongue, yippee. Right, let's paint the body. Let's go for pink first. The first segment can be pink. It matches the mouth, you know. And the antennae, why not? Then green. Wow, what a bright colour that is. It really stands out. Hmm, what colour should we do next? How about red? What a great idea. Do you have a favourite colour? I bet you've never seen a rainbow caterpillar like this one before. Blue net. Lovely. And for the last segment, we can do purple. Brilliant. It's my favourite colour. Excellent. And we're done. Say hello to your gorgeous rainbow caterpillar. Doesn't he look lovely? Hey, it's a bright sunny day and we're going to the playground. Yay! Let's start by drawing the outline with a black pen. We're drawing a slide first of all. A flag on the roof. Lovely legs. A window. It's a playhouse built high up with a slide to come down and a ladder to go up. It's brilliant. Finishing touches, lines on the roof. If you think about it, it's just like drawing lots of different shapes. You've got different sized rectangles, circles, triangles, even squares. Can you spot them? There you go. Time to paint. Red, I think, will be our first colour and we'll make our flag red. The stripe on the roof, why not? Blue for the second stripe. Let's go for pink next. What colour shall we do next, kids? What a brilliant choice, green. And finally, purple. That's great. Hmm, let's go for silver now. Silver for our flagpole. Pink for our window. The great thing about this is you can literally choose any colour you like. Use your favourite colours. You could even do it all one colour if you wanted to. But we like to use a huge variety of colours because it's so bright and beautiful. So yellow for this main part. And then we're going to go for green. That will be our ladder. Pink for the legs. Now let's go for a lovely bright red. That can go on our ladder rungs. You know what rungs are? They're the steps of the ladder. 
Excellent. Back to pink to do some of the frame. Gold for our pillar top. Green for the bars. And continuing the main body with a yellow for the slide. Blue for the final leg. Let's go back to red for our monkey bars. And green for the handles. And there you have it. A gorgeous, colourful playground. Well done. Hi friends, look at my gorgeous house. Let's draw. We'll start with a triangle for the roof. It's going to be a wide triangle. Now, slightly inside the edge of the triangle, we're doing a rectangle underneath and a tall rectangular door with a circular door handle and square windows with crisscross frames. And now, let's do something in the garden. We're doing a gorgeous tree. A rectangle and a cone shape for the tree. A circle with small triangles on the outside for the sun. Look at those rays. There you go, that was so easy. Time to paint. Green first for our lovely tree. So you see, it just takes a few different shapes. You put them all together and you get a fabulous picture. You could draw your house taller, thinner, more windows, more doors, whatever you like. Brown for the tree trunk. What things do you have in your garden? Maybe some flowers and grass. We're doing a red roof. Wow, I would love a red sparkly roof on my house, wouldn't you? Almost there. Done. Now yellow. The main body of our house is going to be sparkly yellow. If you wanted, you could do patterns on your walls, like stripes or zigzags or even swirly-whirly patterns. Perhaps you could have some flowers growing up the side of your house. Maybe you could even draw bricks and make them multicoloured. There! Now for pink! Lovely pink window frames, but only every other one. Next we're going for blue, which we're going to alternate with the pink. Blue and pink look fantastic, don't you think? Purple now for the door. Wow, my favourite colour. Going around the door handle, side to side and done. Door handle can be green. Yes, and last but not least, a golden sun. Golden rays all around. Wonderful. And yellow for the main part. Wow, this looks amazing. And can you believe how easy it was to do? Brilliant. There you have it. Home sweet home. Hey kids, I'm feeling a bit peckish. How about you? I'm going to draw something delicious. Can you guess what it is? You have a go. See if you can copy. Wavy lines. Ooh, another semicircle. And an oval. Ooh, more squiggly lines. Some little baby rectangles. What could this be? Hmm... Did you figure it out? That's right! It's a donut! Yummy! Let's draw something else! That looks like a cherry! Hmm... What could that be? Leaves, I think! Ooh, looks like a slice of something. 
Maybe a yummy pastry. What do you think? It's a triangle, isn't it? With lots of layers. Ooh, time to shade the border up. As always, we like to thicken the dark border to make the colours stand out once we paint or colour it in. Yay! Let's start with pink for our donut. We're going to carefully colour around our sprinkles. Do you know how to spell donut? Well, it's a trick question actually because donut has two spellings. If you look in the dictionary, you'll see a spelling that we use here in the UK and it is D O U G H N U T. Donut. If you go to America, however, they do a simplified spelling D O N U T. D O N U T. Donut. So either works. Either way, it tastes delicious, doesn't it? Finishing touches. Right, time to do the cream. Chocolate, I think. What flavour cream would you like in your donut? Perhaps vanilla or strawberry? Chocolate is my favourite. Yum yum. Right, let's colour in our chocolate cream on the inside too. So basically where we have our squiggly lines, that is the chocolate cream. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Let's go for a nice orange colour for the inside. And the last part. So that's the colour of our lovely baked donut. This donut has strawberry icing, sprinkles, and chocolate sauce. What does your donut look like? What flavour is it? Right, let's do the sprinkles. We got yellow, red, and green. Excellent. Time to colour in our pastry, red cherry and green leaves. There, let's do pink now for the top. This can be our icing. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Carefully going around the leaves. It's always a good idea to go around the borders really carefully first and then you can just shade the rest of it in. And done. Right, we're going to do purple for our first segment. I wonder what flavour this is going to be. Maybe raspberry, blueberry. There, let's do some chocolate icing in the middle. We do love a bit of chocolate. How about some yellow underneath that? This is looking like a really cool pastry. Oh, don't you just want to have a bite? Maybe this is custard. We're going to go for orange at the bottom to keep our nice rainbow colourful theme going. Perhaps that's a little bit of biscuit there or even cake. Doesn't it look delicious? Hey 
kids, today we're going to draw the planet Earth. Start by drawing a big circle and then some squiggly lines to map out your land space, starting with South America, Central America and North America, which is all joined together. You can look at a map and copy the shapes if you're not sure how it goes. Brilliant, let's do Africa now. So we're drawing our continents. And now for a little piece of Europe. A tiny boot. That's Italy, you know. Now we can colour in. We're going to colour around our land with blue, of course. It's the ocean and the seas. Careful to stay in between your black lines, not going over any borders. So we're just showing one side of our planet, our planet Earth. This is where we live, folks. It's a beautiful place. Did you know that the Earth is mostly made up of water? Yep, that's right, folks. There's way more oceans and seas than there is land on our planet. Earth is known as the blue planet because there is so much water. And that's why we have life, because water is the base of all life. We can just imagine the other side of the Earth since it is a globe. Keep colour with that blue. Right, almost done. There you go, time to colour the landing. We're going to make it all nice and green using a lovely medium green colour, carefully colouring in between all these wiggly lines. You know, colouring like this can be rather therapeutic. I find it quite relaxing. How about you? And just look at our gorgeous blue planet. Isn't it fantastic? Wonderful, South America. Hey, let's go to Europe next. Hey, what's your favourite country? I love India too. How about your favourite continent? Asia? Oh, fantastic. Well, we're colouring in Africa now. Have you travelled anywhere? Where have you been in the world? Have you ever been to Africa? And nearly done. Finished! And there you have it. The blue planet. Let's put some clouds on for a finishing touch. And there you go. Earth. Our planet. Hey! Today we're going to show you how to draw a kitchen. Starting with a big rectangular frame, some lines, some more rectangles and squares to make our kitchen surface, our kitchen cupboard, our fan extractor, our microwave and some detail like washing up liquid and tap for the kitchen sink and a window frame. What else will we have in a kitchen? How about a sun? It's a sunny day. And a plant on the windowsill. Hmm, what next? Oh yeah, let's have a shelf for our plates. What a great idea. A coffee machine and a couple of mugs. Our cooker top. Let's have a pot on the stove. And our cooking utensils hanging on the wall. Finishing off our microwave. Let's put some food in it. And our bottom cupboards with oven. Some buttons on the oven vinyl cupboards and the handles of course got to be able to open things and voila ready to color in let's go for green a lovely grassy green we're coloring in all of our cupboards careful not to color in the handles we'll do those a different color at the end what color would you decorate your kitchen cupboards You know what? I really love white, but green looks amazing too. Maybe it could be a glossy green. Right, let's colour in our wall. We're going to do our back wall yellow, carefully colouring around all the details like the cooker tops and the utensils and the pots and pans and the cafetiere. Going around everything carefully. In between our cupboards and above our fan extractor. Let's colour in our window frame now. Dark grey colour. Let's use that dark grey again on our extractor fan. Great. Now we're going to just colour in our oven. A nice dark green this time. Sort of olive green. 
It's great to use different shades of the same colour. Brilliant, and our surface top too. Let's colour in our hand wash. And our tap. Our brown pot for our plant. And a yellow sun, of course. Blue sky, I say. Lovely turquoise blue. It's a beautiful day outside. Let's colour in our plant and our leaves and stems are going to be green. Lovely. Now for our shelf, that will be brown. It's a wooden shelf. Colouring in pink mugs. And how about a blue cafetiere? Dark blue on the bottom as it's hot and full of coffee. Now we're going to have a grey pot and grey cooker tops. How about some orange cooking utensils? Nice bright colours here and there. Turquoise microwave. Lovely. Pink around the buttons. And our food will be a nice peach. Light blue for the glass. Light grey details for our extractor fan and our oven and the cupboard handles. Keep going over all those little rectangular handles. And there you have it, a gorgeous kitchen. Subscribe and watch more.